Hi guys, Jessica here to blab about some Dolly stuff and show you Dolly stuff. Um, I figured this would be the best way to get the mail to deliver would be to try to make a video because that usually means the mailman comes. <laughs> um, though it is a federal holiday here in the States, so I know that um, the U.S. Postal Service won't be delivering today which I somehow managed to forget until somebody on Facebook reminded me. <laughs> but I checked and uh, UPS and FedEx and EMS apparently do deliver. And I have packages coming from those sources. Um, so basically I had a lot of Dolly stuff um, that was all going to be coming in over this last week. Um, today's Monday. So, uh, but because of the weather, a lot of things have been delayed. Um, my beautiful uh, Rumple doll uh, Morpheo head I sent to um, Angsty Penguin. Her her shop on Etsy is um, uh, Red Red Iris Atler Atlier. Um, suddenly, it just went on my brain. Uh, and the pictures she sent. Uh, are absolutely gorgeous um, but he has been stuck in Seattle for a while now because of the weather um, and his body uh, is stuck there too I guess which is on the other side of the state so I don't think that those are gonna be coming today uh, but we'll see what shows up um, my uh, another doll that shipped everything just happened at once um, because I this was uh, Lady's Body, um, which is a Bunny Nine um, body from Nine Nine Style. I ordered that several months back and that shipped as well. Um, and so was saying that that was, that's EMS. And it was saying that that was gonna deliver today. So, but I don't know what's gonna happen now. Um, so we'll see. Um, it's just, uh, it'd be nice if those things would deliver on a day that I'm actually home because a lot of them aren't to be signed for, so. Oh, like, I'm fine for waiting months and months um, for dolls to be made, um, but once they ship, oh, I just get so stressed out. And I think it has to do with, uh, you know, worrying that they have got lost or damaged or I just I hate I hate when things are in the mail in transit that part is just I find that stressful <laughs> um, and it's not I mean I'm so busy with work and things right now that it's not like I have like I don't have anything to do um, and I do have dolls and stuff here of course to do things with but uh, I, I just hate things being in transit so but um, you might have seen this girl over here. Um, this was a very unplanned thing. <laughs> and because my original goal for this girl um, was that I was going to get her a, um, a doll's own girl body uh, or, or doll leaves. And um, this opportunity arose. Uh, this, as you can see, she's got clothes on now, but this is a Doll Chateau kid body. Um, and it was, I'm gonna put this on my tombstone, it was too good a deal to pass up. Uh, it's a boy body, unfortunately. That's the, that's the only thing that makes it a little less than perfect is that it's a boy body. Um, but it's so, like there isn't a huge difference between the boy kid body and the girl kid body. Like it's, it's not very, um, they're not very pronounced either way. So, um, yeah, so this is, this is, this is what her body is going to be. Um, I do have, I bought uh, a secondhand doll leaves girl from Tiffy BJD Crafts. Um, and partly I did really want that girl uh, for the potential of using the body for her. 
um, but I also wanted to contribute in some way to Tiffy BJD. Um, she, Tiffy BJD Crafts is her Etsy. Um, but if you've been following her on Instagram or seeing her YouTube videos, she is sculpting this fantastic, well, several, she's got two, uh, and there's one that she's going to send off. They're these, they're, they're head sculpts for 60 centimeter dolls. Um, and they're, they're very, um, they're elves. So they have elf ears, but their facial structure is so unique. Um, and uh, I guess I would call them more adult looking faces, uh, but just super like just exactly what I love. So um, I am really, really hoping that pretty soon she'll be able to send off her head to Haro Casting and that she will be happy with the results and she will open up pre-orders um, because I'll definitely be in line to get one of those heads. I They are exactly the kind of dolls uh, that I like. Um, and I really, really love that they are going to be 60 centimeter heads um, because that's and that's the direction I would like to, go, like to go for. A lot of my dolls at this point would be SDs, but I want them to be the 60 centimeter. Um, I really like it. So they're big enough that they're nice to sew for, um, but uh, not so big that they're impossible to handle or difficult to handle. So anyways, I digress, uh, which I always do in my videos. So this is my doll in mind, Lorena head, and I'm pretty sure I showed her in my last video. I'm kind of confused now what, what I showed in my last video. Um, but she, her face up, it was done by Fitzwig, and um, I had given him free reign. I mean, I pretty much told him uh, to do what he wanted um, because I, I didn't have a big concept in mind for her. And she is turning into such an amazing, I, I'm just loving her so much. Um, she's wearing a hodgepodge of things at the moment. Um, all things that I've made with her clothes, uh, various things that I put together that I just thought looked really cute on her. Um, she's wearing this wig, which is some sort of natural fiber. It might be teaswater wool, I'm not sure. Um, it's very naturally cur curly, so probably. Um, but it was a wig that came with Danu, uh, my my doll Chateau Christina, uh, her former owner who had painted her and then also made her this wig. Um, and I just love the wig. It never has fit her quite right. Like it always kind of um, wouldn't stay put. Uh, and it fits her really good actually, which I, I just find really surprising. I just put it on her on a whim. Like, oh, this this won't work. Um, so she looks, I think she looks really, really great in it. Um, but uh, I love, I love Del Chateau kid bodies. I have the one, um, he's in white skin. I has, I has my uh, Sea Dolls Peabody head on and he has the extra joints. And kind of the idea in the back of my head though was that, cause this is the normal skin um, or whatever the doll chateau equivalent is, um, this is that color, and I was going to switch my sea doll Peabody head onto this, uh, because of the resin match, but I like him with the extra height. I like him a lot, really tall like he is, um, so he's still on that white body, um, which I don't mind. Uh, I think he looks really good on it, uh. Resin matches, like I'm, it just doesn't, it's not a big deal to me. I think with, especially when they're wearing clothes and that sort of thing, uh, that you just don't see that quite so, especially if the dolls are like blushed or painted and you, know, you hardly see that anyways. So, um, so we're nine minutes in and I haven't hardly talked about anything, have I? <laughs> Maybe I should do some editing on this. Probably not. But anyway, yeah, I've just been super in love with her. Uh, she only, I've, I've had her for several days now and she was just so pretty. Like, 
her skin and I love the um, the anatomy of this body so she pretty much was naked on my desk for like these last few days um, and I kind of like that when I get a new doll um, they don't wear clothes for a while a lot of times because I just like to appre appreciate them I mean yeah you spend a lot of money on that you should appreciate it right uh, so so she finally got some clothes and it's just like I said it's just some things I've thrown together um, that I've that I had made previously so um, she's on the list to get some things made for her here eventually but I, I think she's so cute she's just such a cutie um, I just love I love the posing that this body can do um, though I do think I'm going to I need to do this for my other kid body too some more some wiring and some suede would probably help them some um, I haven't done either with either of them yet, uh, so we'll see. I do think, like some poses, she doesn't hold quite as well as she could, and I think a little bit of suading could help with that. Um, so um, the other thing, the other body that came in, I was trying to remember thing what I talked about. Um, and I can't remember what I talked about in my last video or when I made it. Uh, but this this guy came in. This is a, a old doll's own body in the old tan, um, which is which is very lovely. I actually really like it a lot. It's this kind of orangey color, but I'm actually absolutely in love with the body. Um, beautiful hands and feet. Like I am just the the full doll nudity here. His hands are gorgeous. And look at his feet. I just love his feet. I think they're so pretty. So just instantly fell in love with this guy. And um, he wasn't planned at all. <laughs> you can see he does have this problem here. And I wonder if some wiring would help. My Anoa boy does this too. Uh, that always wanting to cross their arms like they flop up just like that so there's no in between so I wonder if wiring um, and suiting would help with that but beautiful resin color love this body um, it's just really gorgeous and does uh, the arm thing aside it does a lot of other posing he's a really solid stander um, so I would like to find um, a doll zone boy head or some head in the old tan uh, that would be amazing if that happened I don't think it will um, other other options uh, is that I do have a um, an old normal skin mo head uh, that um, uh, somebody sold me on Instagram they had they had done some mods uh, and um, so he needs some work and they fixed up they did a lot of fixing up on him before they sent him which I super appreciate that was very nice of them um, they didn't have to do that but they practically gave him away to me the price was again too good to pass up uh, but I am going to uh, likely that I'm going to put that head on this body um, there'll have to be some blushing to match uh, Though I wonder how much, because the old normal skin, um, it's an older doll, so it's yellowed. Um, so we'll see what I have to do. The other thing that I've had on my mind this whole last week uh, was um, my Annabelle, my doll in mind Annabelle head, which is currently shelled as Maria, um, who is my uh, Day of the Dead sugar skull painted uh, doll um, because the other thing I was kind of thinking was that I wanted to reshell Maria as a NSD doll um, and because I do think that she would be real well suited as an SD um, my uh, human leash head uh, my Delph leash head she was maybe going to these have been my thoughts that maybe she would become that that would be Maria's new shell because I don't have a character on that doll right now she's just pretty <laughs> um, 
so we'll see. Uh, but anyways, what I was thinking was maybe putting my doll in mind, Annabelle head on here. Um, would have to blush it to match, of course, too. But somebody on Instagram had posted their um, their doll zone boy body with the Annabelle head on it, and it looked amazing. It's a bigger head. Uh, the Annabelle head um, right now I have on an old doll in mind body, and uh, which is like the body that it's meant for, and it on even on that body almost seems like it's too big a head. It needs a bigger body. Um, I've seen some people even put that head on some SD bodies, uh, which worked better than I would have ever imagined. So, because it, it, it's just a bigger head size. Um, so we'll see. Those are some things uh, that I'm potentially thinking about doing. Um, uh, so many, so many ideas. So little time, <laughs> but uh, this body is really nice. Um, it was one of those deals that came up. I think it was like a hundred dollars and uh in this i think i'm pretty sure yeah she was in the states so shipping was a joke um and so hard to pass up hard to pass up uh and i got a smoking deal on that body too um it was male <laughs> uh so it wasn't perfectly what i wanted but pretty happy i i am super happy with her on that body so um, okay, uh, we're 16 minutes in and I feel like I have virtually said nothing. Uh, let me look at my list and see what I had. Um, talked about, oh, let's, uh, so sewing updates. Um, that's, I've been doing a lot of sewing. Um, oh, hold on. Did I, did I show this? I can't remember if I did. Oh, well, I'll show it again. Um, this was, uh, I did a dolly um, trade with um, BJD Addict, Addict, Attic, like the above. I think I did talk about this. I, I can't remember. But this is the book uh, that she made, and I, I made her a hat for her doll, and she made this book, which is available in her Etsy shop, um, and so it's, it's bound, and... Um, it stays shut, so it's a book that's, it's very well made, it's super well made. Um, but anyways, it has pages, it has some blank pages at the back so that you can actually write in if you wanted, but it has all of these like spells and uh, uh, pages on mythical creatures. It's awesome, <laughs> I freaking love it. Uh, and I, I think I did talk about that in another video, but there it is again. Okay, so sewing updates. Um, I have been doing a lot of sewing, and um, so this was a shirt that I made for, uh, actually it was made for Gehern, who is uh, on the Dolce 28M classic body. Um, and I really like how the shirt turned out. It's a little bit too small for him. Um, just a little bit. So I'm I'm wondering if maybe this will fit Morpheo's pure Dolce body when it comes in. So I'm kind of hoping that it will. But uh, I, I think the placards turned out pretty decent. I'm getting better at those. Um, still not perfect, but I am improving. And the other thing that I've done is I finally learned how to sew buttonholes on my sewing machine. Uh, and so super duper happy with uh, my newfound buttonhole sewing ability. <laughs> so here is, so here's Gehern, and uh, so I redid the pattern and made him this, another shirt, that, and this one fits him great. This one fits him really great. So I just adjusted it a little bit, and then I, the other thing that I finished this last weekend was uh, this vest for him. And it's the same vest pattern that I had used for Cernunos, but of course scaled down um, to fit Gehern. And I'm really, really happy with, um, I'm really happy with how he's looking. Uh, his hat, and I can't remember if I showed, this was uh, a suede and faux leather, faux suede and faux leather hat that I had made him. Um, and I just think that he is, really coming together here really nicely. Oh. Um, 
I still, like, I love this doll. Um, I do, there's things that I wish, I wish I wouldn't have gotten all of, um, I got the, all the extra joints. Uh, and sometimes he can be really difficult to just, um, he poses nicely, like he can hold and do a lot of poses, but it, it takes a lot to get him there, like to balance him for standing and things like that. Um, once you do, he stands really amazing. Uh, but um, like there's these, there's this, I would call it a mobility joint, but it's all over the place. He's got one here in his upper arm. Um, the one, the joint here at his waist, I, I think that this is the joint that I dislike the most. Um, it can make for some really nice slouching, um, but the other thing it tends to do, which is really annoying, is it pops, he always wants to pop out this way. So his whole back wants to just, which is not so cool. I don't see he's doing it right now. <laughs> and that I do not like. Um, so at least him wearing a shirt kind of covers it up. So uh, anyways, kind of what my thought process is on that is, I don't know. I don't know if I might try to sell this body and get another Dolce body for him. Um, and, and I now know that it was the light tan that I wanted. I mean, I body blush this head to match, but um, I know that uh, uh, I don't want to go through that matching again. It was so difficult. Um, and I mean, it literally, I worked on it for days and days trying to build up the layers. Um, and my dread is that at some point it will chip, that it won't hold up. Um, so we'll see. Uh, I think if it did chip, that would kind of be the thing that made me throw in the towel and be like, Ugh. because what's on my mind kind of is to reshell him, um, to reshell the character uh, as a Granado. Um, which face sculpt, I don't know, but I love the Eval body since they released it. Um, the bronze skin is probably, which my Cern Yunos is in, uh, the Titan, my Granado Titan. It is my absolute favorite resin color of all time. Um, the quality of the resin and the sanding, um, the color, it's just hands down, I think, like, he is the highest quality resin doll that I own. Um, he doesn't pose great because he's a monster, <laughs> but uh, that resin is amazing. Um, and so maybe late this year or even 2018, that could be, I said, this chips. <laughs> like, I just really, really love this doll, but uh, I just have a lot of, like, I want to do some things. I wanted to put more facial hair on him, but I'm so afraid to run to run it and not, and then have to start over. Um, I did work on his eyebrows a little bit. It's not sealed, um, but I worked on his eyebrows and kind of the, um, I guess the the blushing around his eyes is what I would say. Um, but we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. Um, let's see. What else do I have to talk about? Oh, um, I made some notes to myself. So hats, uh, hats are still, I'm still open for selling hats. Um, I have some that are pre-made, but uh, a lot of people have a, have certain something sp specific in mind that they want um, as far as the colors and fabrics that they want for their hats. This is an SD hat uh, that I made um, out of the leather, the faux leather and faux suede. It's satin lined. Um, so these are, I'm always open for these. Uh, I, I, I so far haven't gotten so many orders that I feel like I can't stay open for those. Um, so feel free to message me if that is something that you want. Um, they are $25 and then shipping in the United States is like, uh, $360. Um, that's priority mail and a padded envelope. Um, and that's the kind of the cheapest, safest, fastest shipping um, option that, that I uh, have found. 
Um, so that's currently on that. And I have had some people asking me about commissions and I've kind of, in a lot of ways, I kind of have not known what to say. Um, so I think, I think the decision that I've come to is that if there is something that I have sewn, um, that I've, you know, previously that I've already designed the pattern for and have been sewing like the shirts or uh, some pants, um, the vests, uh, those sorts, anything like that that I have shown and have examples of, those are things that I would be willing to take commissions on. Um, you know, if you wanted a certain fabric or something like that, I might be able to accommodate those things. Uh, but I've had a few inquiries about things uh, and somebody will, they'll show me a picture or a concept of what they want and I'm not there yet. I'm, I'm, I'm not able to do those things. Like to, I'm, yeah, <laughs> uh, my design skills and my sewing skills. Um, Cause I, I literally could spend weeks and weeks and weeks just trying to like make a pattern to meet those one-time commission deal and um it just it's just not i just can't do that uh but i would be pretty willing uh, unless i get overloaded um if there's something that i'm making that you like or want specifically then um those are things that i probably would be able to do for you um price wise uh something like a pair of the pants that I make, um, depending on complexity and that sort of thing, uh, or the shirts, depending on what is it, what exactly it is that you're looking for there. Um, about, uh, about $45, uh, $45 for a shirt, $45 for a pair of pants, uh, for the time that goes into them and the materials, um, really can't do those things for any less than that. But, that is, those are some things that I would probably be willing to do. So um, I would, I'd need to have a doll that's similar in size or shape to the doll that you have in mind that the article is for. Um, and of course, if it's a doll that I actually have, the likelihood that it's gonna be a really good fit is gonna be higher than if I don't. So um, always keep that in mind, but those are questions you can always ask me and I can let you know if I have a doll, if I have that doll or if I have something similar. So I do have a lot of dolls, which helps <laughs> uh, when you're trying on clothes and making patterns for different types of dolls. So, um, but yeah, I, I, I couldn't imagine trying to design a pattern or a piece of clothing for a doll that you don't have any example of um, to work on because that's really really tough um, and I am not that good of a seamstress yet so okay um, I think I'll wrap it up here um, doesn't look like the mailman was summoned unfortunately but um, I have a suspicion that a lot of packages are gonna come in tomorrow and so fingers crossed um, I'll keep you guys updated. Thanks so much for watching and I uh, hope you're all having a great Monday. I'll catch you later. Bye-bye.